Albert Pujols homered earlier tonight. The great Pujols who is one swing away from 700 career home runs. What's up everyone and welcome back to Weird Stat Wednesday, where 42 is the new 22. Some guy named Albert made baseball history this past week by becoming the fourth player in the history of baseball to reach 700 career home runs, as well as the third to reach 700 that actually saw a slider. Not only did Pujols make history by joining the 700 club, he also became the only player in MLB history to hit at least 20 home runs in their age 42 season. With an asterisk because there was this guy with a melon head and the inflatable anchor arms from SpongeBob who also hit over 20 homers in his age 42 season, Barry Bonds. By 2007, it was pretty obvious to anyone with eyes that Barry Bonds was on the juice. Either that or he ate one of his teammates. Hmm. Has anyone seen Jeff Kent recently? Regardless of your opinion on Bonds and his records and whether or not they should count, his baseball reference page can still give you hours of entertainment. And this week, I just wanted to show you some of the ridiculous things he was doing as a 42 year old. First, his base slash line. Bonds hit 276, 480, 535 in 2007, which is quite pedestrian by his standards. His 2001 to 2004 statistics have been mentioned enough, but that 480 on base percentage still ranks seventh all time, behind seasons from Frank Thomas, Mark McGuire, and Barry Bonds four times. He walked 132 times that season, which is only 25th in MLB history, but he also only played 126 games in 07. 43 of those walks were of the intentional variety, which ranks seventh all time behind Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds, prime MVP Albert Pujols, and prime MVP legendary Hall of Famer Willie McCovey at age 42. This 2007 was full of crazy numbers, and yet it was more of a season in which Bonds was unable to accomplish that much. He only reached 192 total bases, had less than 100 total hits, and only registered 340 at-bats. Of course, that had a lot to do with 132 of his total plate appearances being a formality. I mean, seriously, how afraid can you be? Pitchers haven't feared a man near his mid-40s more than Barry Bonds since Barack Obama announced he was running for president. Then again, can you blame them? Dude finally has a down year at age 35, comes back with 40 pounds of extra muscle and hands like Kawhi Leonard, hits 73 dongs, and we really didn't realize he was on elephant testosterone? How could MLB allow this to happen? Trick question because the answer's too obvious. Now we sit here with incredible legends of the game blackballed from the Baseball Hall of Fame, while the man who looked the other way for decades gets a nice shiny plaque in Cooperstown. Makes zero logical sense just like the great game of baseball itself. Stay weird.